what is up HDMM? I'm Jamie with some of this and that and today I'm going to talk a little bit about these guys. Goats. Zena! Zena is hitting my tripod right now so here she comes. So we are going to just go over some basic terms that you may hear if you're researching and possibly thinking about raising goats for yourself. I raise Nigerian dwarf goats. I love them because they are great milking goats and they, as you can see, are pretty calm and very friendly. The first term we're gonna go over is what we call a buck. You've probably heard the term very regularly if you're looking into goats. A buck is a male goat that has not been castrated. He is fully intact and he is able to breed with your females. Now, I don't have any full-size bucks here, but I do have a buckling. Serious Black right here is a buckling. He's a little baby boy that has not been castrated. He is fully intact and he will be part of our breeding program next year. The next one term that you may hear that refers to male goats is what we call a weather, which is also a male goat, but weathers have been castrated so they cannot breed. They're fixed. They're great if you don't want to have any baby goats anytime soon and they're great for companions so you can just keep a small goat herd on your yard. Next we have a doe. If I can get Daisy up here she's more concerned with my tripod than she is with the leaves but a doe is an adult female goat. We don't generally fix females we only usually castrate the males because it's easier there's no surgical procedures involved and then you have a doling which is a little baby girl goat. Now a kid is a baby goat. Please don't knock my tripod over, Daisy. <laughs> this is very hard to do. I usually lock the goats up if I'm filming outside. Now, come on, Daisy. Here you go. Have some yums. A kid is a baby goat. As you can see, Sirius Black is a buckling, but he is also a kid. Now, goats are what we like to call rumnits, which means that they have, and this is Voldemort. <laughs> Remnants are animals that chew their cud and they have a four compartment stomach and that's what goats are. They're very similar to deer. And then when people talk about the rumen, the rumen is actually the first part of their stomach system which contains all the microbials that are capable of breaking down all the roughage that they eat. That's my finger. I'm sorry, am I in your way? Yeah. <laughs> And then we have another term that you may hear, which is yearling. Daisy is actually a yearling. She's camera shy, but she is a one-year-old goat. She hasn't been bred, so she is a dry yearling because she has yet to be bred and she is never kitted, which kitting means the giving birth. It's the process of birthing a baby goat. We call it kitting. Now, another thing that if you're looking up breeds, you may see some people post about goats that are pulled. Sirius Black here, Daisy and Xena are all pulled, which means that they were bred to be born without any horns. They never need to be disbudded. They will never grow horns. And if you do have goats, it's not a good idea to have a combination of goats with horns and goats without horns because it can be dangerous. Personally, I prefer to have pulled goats or at least have them disbud it, which means that they are going to be, have their buds removed so they don't grow horns because it's just safer for me and my kids and it's safer for the goats. They can get their horns stuck in places or they can hit each other and headbutt each other and really do some damage. So it's just easier and safer for me to have them all without horns. Zena's camera shy too. The girls are camera shy and the boys are just like, whatever. Here you go, Paul. So that is what I have got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the HGMM channel, be sure to do so. And if you haven't checked out my main channel, some of this and that, I post nerdy DIY crafts and recipes. And I've also relaunched my secondary channel, Three Little Goats, where I am showing like the behind the scenes of living on my little one acre homestead. So if you want to check that out, be sure to. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.